let's use the direct data import and export. I'm going to run a query to show you how we might export. So I go to the customer table and I just do a quick select. Any query will do. And I get a result set. Now I'm going to go to the direct data export button and it highlights. Now when I run any query, it will say, where do you want to save this and how? I'm going to save it as a CSV file, comma separated value file. I'll put it in the directory that I want and I'll give it a name new customer table and I will save it. Now I turn the export off. Now I'm going to create a table. So it's called customer table 2. It has no data in it. So the table must exist. I'm going to refresh the database and you'll see that I do have a customer table 2 table out there but there's no data in it. If I select from it the query runs, but there is no data in it. Now, I'm going to go to the Direct Data Import button and click. And it says, OK, what system connection? I go, my Teradata Virtual System. What database? That database. What table? Customer Table 2. Hey, skip the header row. It could have null values. The delimiter is a comma. Hit Begin. And it says, well, which CSV file? I say new customer table. It runs, shows me that it's finished. Now when I query this table, it's been populated. So simple. Nexus.